Panetta has spinach, potatoes. Oh, it's really good. This episode, we are gonna take you to a country that we've never been to, but we absolutely love to go. <sighs> that country? Argentina. So we're here in Queens, Elmhurst, Queens is a uh, few spots here for Argentinian food, Argentinian bakeries, parijada, butcher shops. So Argentinian food, there's one thing they're really well known for, and what's that? Meat! What's really interesting about Argentina is that there's a large Italian immigration wave back in the day. So there's a large Italian community in Argentina. So familiar with sports, you have Mano Ginobili, who has uh, Italian background. You also gonna go to the only Argentinian pizzeria in New York City. It's our first time trying Argentinian pizza ever. Let's see how it is. We love pizza as you know. Let's check it out. This is so cool because you see this Argentinian flag here. There's like a flag, it's like a racing club flag. You have like pictures of people who come here for Argentinian sporting events. Very cool. Like we just found this place on Instagram. Shout out to Sirhan, our good friend who is, makes amazing pizza. You may have seen our Detroit style pizza video. Check it out if you haven't. So excited to try this. All right, so this is really interesting. I've never seen a pizza like this before. So this one's called the Fugozetta. So it has cheese, no sauce. It's topped with onions and there's lots of oregano. So this pizza is made in a pan. It looks a little thicker, but the bottom looks quite crispy. So I'm very curious about this one. I've never seen anything quite like it. Have we seen videos on pizza in Buenos Aires, in Argentina? Let's give this one first bite ever Argentinian pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Bottom is a nice crisp. I love the taste of the onions. That oregano gives that nice herbal flavor. It's not as heavy as you think. Surprisingly enough, but the onion has a really nice caramelized flavor. Mm. The dough is much fluffier, airier than you would think. Mm. It's good. Here we have the house special. So this one's a little more traditional as far as the sauce first and there's cheese but it's also topped with ham, boiled egg, olive, and red pepper. So there's a lot going on in here. And when you take a look at it, when you take it to the side, you can see the crust is pretty airy, and the bottom is has a really nice crisp to it. So, let's see. Mm. Very crunchy. Mm. Mmm, this is good. Very airy and light. This pizza will be very heavy, but it's not. They do a nice job with this here. This is our first ever Argentinian pizza experience. It already makes me want to try more. Mm. We're getting Argentinian fresh. We're planning to eat a lot of meat today. We're starting off with something very light. On one of our recent food tours, we actually had guests from Argentina and we asked what, what they like to eat for breakfast. And it's usually something light, some pastry, some coffee. So that's what we got. We have empanada. So Argentinian empanadas are awesome. They have it baked and with a braided edge like this. Empanada has spinach, potatoes. Oh, it's really good. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Very interesting to have the mashed potato mixed in with that spinach. So you get a nice earthy spinach flavor. You have that texture, that soft texture in the mashed potato. And the outside is very light. So it's not too flaky. It's a little buttery, but it's very, very good. Really like Argentinian salad empanadas. Definitely check them out. All right, so we got a very famous Argentinian pastry here is called media luna. So media luna means half moon. Looks like a croissant. And what's nice about this one, it's actually filled with dulce de leche. So that's that delicious, creamy, rich uh, caramel inside. Oh. So first time trying it, really excited for it. Mm. So the bread tastes like brioche and I can't wait to bite this dulce de leche here. <sighs> okay. Mm. Mm. That was a really good bite. Those are the chair. If you don't know, it's very rich, but it was worth it. We also got coffee. 
All right, so we don't often get coffee with milk, especially hot coffee milk and sugar, but we wanted to in this case, so we're gonna take a bite of this first and then dip it. I do get coffee. Oh my milk. god. <laughs> wow, the combo of that dulce de leche with that brioche taste of the medio luna, oh my god, it's so good. Mm. This pairs so well with this coffee. Really good. You gotta get a Medio Luna Dulce de Leche, a must try. We are off to a great start here. We just had a breakfast, savory and sweet, and coffee. We're heading to our second stop. So this part of Elmhurst is basically just one block, but there are two Argentinian restaurants for Parijada, and you have a bakery, you even have a grocery store that sells a lot of Argentinian products. But what's even cooler is this huge mural behind us. They painted it for the World Cup 2018. So it has Messi, it has Maradona, two Argentinian football legends. One of those famous things in Argentina is parejada. Lots of grilled meat platter, so we're, we're gonna get that. Really excited for it. We've got a really special place to take you for parejada. We've got famous Argentinians painted on their walls. Never seen quite anything like it. If you come on weekdays, lunes, martes, jueves, they've got 50% off on their wines, meat and red wine. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Few really good Argentinian parijadas around here in Queens, but we chose El Cachito for a big reason. They actually have their own butcher shop. They use the meat in house. Really special. I got and we're here for one thing and one thing only. Gracias. Alright, so it's awesome in the parejada para dos, so for two. It comes with a lot of different meats. So we have the tira de asado, so that's the beef short rib. We got the entraña, which is the skirt steak. We have the morcilla, which is the blood sausage. That's good stuff right there. We got the we got two types of sausage. We have they call it frankfurter, and they also have the chorizo. And we also have some of the innards that we really enjoy, like the mojeja, which is the sweet bread. And we also have the kidney. So it's a big platter here. We got two sides that come with it. We got the we chose the papa provencal. So it's the provencal potatoes at the top with garlic, herbs, olive oil, really tasty, parsley. And uh, we also got the maduros, the sweet plantains. And even in this platter, what's cool, they keep it hot by putting charcoal underneath it. Keeps it nice and warm. And they also have a little bit of uh, pickled veggies on the side as well. So it's keeping it nice and hot. So what's great too is that you can choose how the meat is cooked. So we got it medium rare. Medium rare, go home. <laughs> the special part of the parijada is the chimichurri sauce. That's the lovely green sauce on the side. It's full of herbs. So it has parsley, oregano. It's also tangy. A little vinegar, olive oil, garlic. Lots of minced garlic too. You pair that with your meat. So it's perfect to go with it. You gotta add that in. Beef rib is cooked perfectly medium rare. Let's take a bite. Perfectly, so it's very, uh, it's cooked medium rare, so it's very juicy. It's soft, but it also has a nice chewiness to it. So this is not a meat that's just gonna cut with your fork. It's gonna, it's gonna require a little bit of action from your teeth, but it's well worth it because it's got a lovely chew to it. It's good. You ready? Yeah. It's Marcia time.
Wow. If you don't know what Murcia is, it's blood sausage. So good. We also got one of our favorite innards right here. It's the mojeja, it's the sweet bread. Oh, we love it. Let's give it a go. Let's get in there. It looks like a nice char on the outside. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. Really good. This one's more flattened. A lot of times you'll see sweet breads. They're larger chunks. This one's actually been flattened out. Really nice, different taste. Enjoyable nonetheless. While digging more meat in our parijada, we found this chinchulin or intestines. It's not even in their menu. And we're very surprised because on the list of what's in the parijada for two, they don't include the chinchulin. It's on the menu that you can order on the side, but it doesn't come in here. So it's been sitting at the bottom of this pan. It's just been just absorbing all the fat from all the other meats. So really excited because we love this beef small intestine. Let's give it a go. Mmm nice char on the outside but it's got that creamy interior that if you know small intestine you know what we're talking about um, very good so it's like tripas in Mexican taco type it's very tasty nice unexpected surprise in this parejada It's like a museum. See? You would think that after eating all that meat, we don't have room for dessert. But there's always, always room for dessert. Cannot be more true. We actually have leftovers from that big feast that we're going to eat later. But we have that dessert stomach. You know what that dessert stomach is. It's that second stomach opens up. So <laughs> Some good top in your stomach. Actually. So one of the things we got, we actually got two of them, two types is alfajores. Alfajores is a very popular pastry in South America. You find it in several countries, Uruguay, Peru, Bolivia, Argentina. So of course you got the Argentinian varieties. So we have the classic one, the maicena. It's made with the cornstarch. It's got the dulce de leche inside, and then it also has the sweetened grated coconut on the outside. So we got the little mini ones, we got two. Let's take a bite. Mm. So the cookies that are made out of cornstarch are very powdery, crumbly. It's not a huge layer of dulce de leche inside. Sometimes you'll find there's much thicker layer. This is a little more balanced. Really tasty. Not too sweet either. And you get that flavor from the coconut on the outside. Mm. I mentioned we got a few types of alfajores. There are many types that are made. This one actually looks very different. It's the first time trying this style. It looks very flaky. It actually looks like a biscuit. And then the interior has the dulce de leche and there's powdered sugar on top. Let's take a bite. Mmm, extremely flaky. Could not get more opposite in texture than the last one we had, the maicena. This one's really nice because you have the dulce leche in the middle, so it's really like a sandwich. Mm. We just can't keep getting more dulce leche because why not, right? This is like the staple ingredient in Argentina's wheat, same so. The cañoncito, it looks kind of like a cannoli. Let's go with the dulce leche. Also looks like a cannon. So, bite. Mm. This one has much more of a texture like a croissant. Like a classic French croissant, but it's also full of that delicious, rich dulce de leche. Mm. Media Luna mustache. <laughs> Remember before we had the Media Luna that was stopped with the dulce de leche? And this one we got the Media Luna de Manteca, which is the butter one. We wanted to get one plain just to try it and see how it tastes at this spot, so let's take a bite. This one's very different. This one tastes much more like a croissant. Similar texture too. You see all the layers when you take a bite. Mm -hmm. Much more like a croissant. 